up and good morning guys welcome back to another video so this morning we're coming to you guys from kind of the back shop garage area of uh the guest house i don't know if i'm really showing this area too much it's kind of dirty um it used to be like a barn area that was kind of converted into a garage you can see on the floor is a bunch of horse stall mats it still retains the original stalls here for horses so it's got two stalls and currently right now it's being used as storage for some lawn equipment um just a bunch of random stuff the wheel of death which we need to bring back out at some point but the reason we're in here right now is uh well we got to pull out the old air hose and compressor because surprise surprise the single cab has low tires again um i know there's slow leaks in the two rear tires and i think at this point today is maybe the day we go order up some tires for that thing because it's getting dangerous. I've been driving that thing with like 5 PSI on the freeway and shout out to Toyo because I have never not been impressed by Toyo tires. I've taken like Allen keys directly into the tire like long ways, pulled them out, never had a leak. Big Toyo fan, big Toyo fan. And because I'm curious, let's do a little uh, PSI check here. And we're, we're a little bit over 10 PSI. We're also on a hill right now with a bunch of the weight on the rear tire. So that's probably changing that reading a little bit, but We'll go ahead and get these filled up. Well, we got the geese over there yelling at us. There's a peacock up in the tree right there. All right, guys. Well, the tires are all aired up. Let's see if we can make it up here. Low speed. Even being bald. Oh, we're spinning a little bit. Oh, no, we got this. Now watch, I end up going and ordering new tires and I don't order Toyos. There's a chance, you never know. I ain't trying to put a ton of money into this truck and I say that now and I probably will end up putting a ton of money into this truck. One of the reasons I haven't swapped tires yet is, you know, Toyos are not cheap. And again, this was not the truck I was supposed to be daily driving. But good news is, I do have the parts ordered for the gray truck um, to just totally convert that bad boy into a monster and get rid of any of our fuel leak issues. So hopefully those come uh, somewhere in the next couple videos. Oh, hey boys. And girl. Hey man. Good to see ya. Yeah. What happened? Tired. Derek, what do we got going on, buddy? I'm putting everyone to work today. I'm even working apparently. Dang. Oh, all, the, all that work. You can barely see the turbo back there. Nice. Is there a turbo? Yes. Oh. There is. Derek's been, uh, well, I'm gonna say Derek and Snow. I'm assuming Snow had a big help in this. Uh, they've been over here working, getting the turbo put in. The big 65 millimeter. Yup. I'm excited. Haven't started it yet. I waited. I could have. You're very, you're very considerate didn't so we decided to remember that leak we had with the return line yep we're gonna make a longer one real quick and then after right. that we jump it and we start it and see what it sounds like <laughs> yeah look, we even got some color back here now oh uh, all right that's the piece you're talking about yeah that's the pinion guard i was talking about yeah that was from the jeep but obviously i went to a full truss for the jeep so i had that left over so i was like oh look at that i got an axe like dang on. guys daddy's building a show truck here guys look at all the all right, powder coated parts that. going on in the back <laughs> i don't there. know about all that let's go you ready it's fired up uh, i wouldn't do that oh yeah please don't <laughs> kylie what are we doing taking stickers off taking stickers off yeah. Oh, is this is like him prepping you for the whole doors and stuff. He's gonna make you de-sticker the cab. Yeah, it's gonna do uh, eventually. Just uh -oh. watch it'll be my job, but that's kind of what I'm trying to do at the moment. I think she's doing as a great you can job. tell. Is she doing a great job? She's doing a better job than I would have. Well, that's obvious. All right. First of all, <laughs> I've been cleaning for him since we've met, so. Dang. Snow's putting the return line on there. The surgeon at work. Scalpel. Swap. Swap. Fluffer. Fluffer. Reroute some wiring here. Clean it up. All right, boys, fire it up! All right, get the oh, Tahoe keys. We're, we're. So we're getting the Tahoe fired up here. We've got our jumper cables hooked up to jump Dedek's engine. More so give it a little boost to the battery that's already there. All right, fire it up! Let's see what she sounds like. New turbo, 65 millimeter. <laughs> oh, she sounds good. Yeah. More of that. More of that. More of that. Oh, I want to make sure the turbo gets. Full throttle. I want to make sure the turbo gets oil. Oh, I love standing right here. I just get. Sounds good, buddy. She sounds good. Oh, I'm happy. All right, I'm happy. Shut her down. 
Well done, buddy. That sounds. Yeah. Good job, Old Fab. Good job, Old Fab. Good job. Make a sweet sounding turbo. It's all right. We're going to call this build the squirter from now on because <laughs> every time it runs. We come up with a new name for it every time. That's true. What was it yesterday? Paycheck to it's paycheck. Uh, paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. Squirter. Uh, broke not built? I don't remember. I don't know. Cat filet. Built and broke. Cat filet. Cat filet. Cat filet. That's a good one. Tick no. Filet. Oh, they also called the turbo. Someone commented on my uh, story and said this is the uh, Chick fil A sauce dispenser. I got some. I can fill it up. You want to see what happens? Yeah, <laughs> We just need to get the, uh, the cat logo in here now. They don't get to name it. I get to name it. I'm still a fan of Catermax. Catermax is good. All right, now that we're here the turbo fire up, we're going to go see our friends over at Courtney Tire and get some tires ordered. We got Sergio over here working on, you guys may remember, Freddy EcoFresh 619. Sergio! How many lights is Freddy talking you into? What? How many lights is Freddy talking you into? <laughs> a lot, but he, he wants to do all the stuff before he gets a lift kit and all that. So I told him, no, you know, wait for your stuff to be done. Because he wants to train horse again. Lights on the grill. Oh, once it's lifted, it's easier for you to get under. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, hey, figure out what you want first so everything looks clean yep. and organized. You don't have stuff all around your truck. Exactly. So, we'll see. So, yeah, Freddie had the, I don't really know what color, like the reddish orange um, F-150 that had like 42 train horns underneath it, the crazy in-bed sound system and all that. Um, he ended up blowing that truck up. So, now he's moving on to the 6.7 Diesel Life, and that's going to be his new build. And I think we're actually going to be doing some stuff on it. So stay tuned for that. All right, we've arrived at Courtney Tire. Oh, we got a nice Bentley. Like everything in the world, um, the Toyo MTs are out of stock in most places. There's one tire local, so they're trying to find another three and source them from around the country. So unfortunately, we're going to be a little bit delayed on getting our tires. We got the tightest parking lot here with my worst turning truck ever. We're also going to be doing a long overdue alignment on this thing. Now, we're not going to call our tire mission a fail. They're still trying to source the tires, so hopefully we can get them, you know, in the next, uh, I think a week is when they're going to ship from, I guess, across the country. Let's go see what the boys are up to back in the shop, though. This is teamwork right oh here, boys. Jesus What? Oh, you scared me. Oh, are you okay, man? No, no like, pre-warning, no, hey, I'm coming in? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I catch the hardest worker right here, so. Somebody's gotta hold the flashlight. Has dad yelled at you yet? No. Hey, you been, you're good then. Drilling the holes for the uh, trans bracket before we put the cab on, because it's way easier right now. Ooh, she's a tight fit. Oh yeah, that's why we're gonna send her in. All right. Let's see if, it's if it doesn't fit, let's just strip it. Yep, I've got like 30 <laughs> of these bolts, so yeah. All right, so trans mounts bolts are going on. Still gotta get the nuts and washers, but we're gonna put the cab on for now. Now I was told today is gonna be the last time the cab ever comes off, or goes on, I should say. Coming down! Here we go, here we go. Just a little scraping, no big deal. Still looking all right? Yep. Still looking good? All right, stop. Should we roll the truck forward, yeah. or are you good? Should probably roll the truck forward. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, truck's coming forward. You got plenty of room. Yeah, we uh, the cab's at yeah. kind of cockeyed here. Yeah, I know. That's why we're going to have to drop it and then shimmy it around. All right. We're clear. Did they get it? Yeah. Look at that, Tom. Oh, my God. <laughs> Map sensor! Oh, my God. With the jumper! I spent like $80 on that. Look at it! <laughs> Is the bracket on it, too? Yeah! That's <laughs> <laughs> why we keep an organized list of everything we have, Dedek. Let's laugh, but if I put that bracket back on, I got to pull the <laughs> we need like literally another inch. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Oh, I see it. I gotta bend that bracket down. All right, go up. Going up. All right, All right go down. That's going for a little there. Dang, man, I like this. That's a nice touch. Get that. Get out of here. Classy. You line sponsor us. Today's video is sponsorship is Uline. Oh. Please sponsor us. I would take a Uline sponsorship with the, <laughs> the amount of money I spend at Uline a year. I'll take that sponsorship any day. I'm still not going to clear a hood. Which is okay. I'm just not going to run a hood. Yeah, hoods are overrated. <laughs> I think it looks better without a hood. Shows off all the beautiful HSP parts, the Chick fil A sponsorship. I forgot how many stickers were on the windshield. You should have like, everybody send us stickers they want to see on Dedic's truck. I'd be about that. All right. If you guys want to send us stickers to get it on Dedek's truck, shoot me an email, dmaxrhino at hotmail.com. I'll send you my P.O. box. Time to line the cab up. Shift it over. All right, ready, Snow? We're going to yoink her this way. All right, yep. All right. 
She a little heavier than she looked. There she is, Snow. Done. All right, let me get underneath. Hold on, I, I did some fender work here. All right. Come your way. Hold, no, I didn't say nothing yet. Bad news is it looks like the exhaust is gonna have to come back off though. Why? Because it's literally in the exact path of where this cab mount bolt goes. Which is okay, because we gotta finish welding it up and Ryan gets to polish it. How's that taste? Tastes good? Tastes like... Tastes like cab? Tastes like fast. Why is it spicy? Why is it so spicy? You know, we're gonna work on the front ones first. Yeah, let's, 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 yeah. yeah, let's just do the front ones first. That's, that's how you're supposed to do it. I read the manual. And then new body mounts. I thought he was just gonna throw <laughs> me a crescent. Leave that one a little loose. All right, next. Right, next one. I got you, bro. Those are the long ones. I need the, the ones that are in the back. They're shorter ones. Cab's a little stuck. Hey, right, hold up, hold up. Uh, now it needs to go this way. There you go. All right, now Ryan needs to push over. Like the opposite way? Like to me. Like, just I don't do the You pull the rinse now, right? Oh, oh, move back towards now. Try to kick it that way again. Try it again. All right, hold up. Thanks, bud. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a hand umbrella for your That's eyes. That's what I needed, too. Looking great, buddy. All right, so coming up next, 12-inch lift kit. He said it on camera, so it has to happen. And I'm thinking 46-inch boggers. You know what's funny? It looks taller with the Durabax in it than it did with the LS. Which is completely BS. Yeah, it makes no sense. No, but look at that. What? I don't remember it being that big. Is it tooted? Uh, yep, yep. Look, there's, there's less gap in the back there. It's tooted. Carolina's old son. Yeah, he's got a sticker bomb truck that's tooted. That's Carolina all over it. He's just missing the fuzzy steering wheel. We can make that happen. Getting all the body panels put on here. Getting closer to being real, one step at a time. We should leave it open, no fender liners. No fender liners. No fender liners. I have to run a fender liner. Half my stuff over here mounts to a fender liner. That was a mistake. Suppose. That's how you do it. Bolts going in, maybe. Sometimes she puts up a fight, sometimes she's got, you know. Dedek's getting the shims in over there, working on getting those body lines extra crispy. Yeah, no, these are just getting locked in. Not crispy? That's gonna happen later when like, I actually have time to do it. That's gonna take a while. That's an art form. Look, we got an artiste here. You not see the beautiful sticker work? Snow. We'll just put stickers all up and down the body lines and you won't even see body lines anymore. Shh. It's gonna be like smooth. Wait, can you guys hear that? Go ahead and uh, send us your stickers. No. <laughs> What's the matter, Dedek? She ain't fit. Do you want to pop this? So you can see pop the intercooler. radiators pop in, intercoolers in, in but in obviously all of this stuff is meant for an 05. So trying to get like hoses to line up, to piping that has yeah, to make into an angle to get over to there. It's not that easy. Clearly, it's gonna take some finagling here. I mean, just look at where that booger has to tie into that booger. That actually works now. Look at that snow. We just needed it at a 18 degree angle there. Hot news. Hey man, you, you done some learning since you left. <laughs> I got my grade 12. What? Hold up. I do you grade tell, 3 12 times. You why, tell, you why, tell, why haven't you seen me in the last couple videos? You tell me there's higher than a grade 10. I never made it past 5. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, y'all didn't know we was in the presence of a genius. <laughs> With each grade, that mustache got bigger. <laughs> Some say long in the tooth. I say long in the stash. You got to go back to a dedic a lot. No, the hole is. Right no, here. you're in yeah. the wrong hole. No, yeah, that's the hole. That's, that's the right. Yeah, I know. I need it. Yeah. yeah. Got to go underneath this. It fits underneath that. So right now we're fighting this pipe coming down in here. Snow with the handy dandy step stool. You're gonna have to yank on this pipe at the same time that he's doing that. Otherwise you're. You're not going to get it to shift. This is like a whole quarter inch out that way than this is. This is almost lined up and then this is all the way out here. It's because it's trying to kick the whole thing out. Hey, boot's a boot though. You know, if the boot's on, we're good. So do you, uh, Ryan, are you in the hole there? I believe so. Yeah, he is. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, almost. It's got to come to me. Looks Push like. down. You're close enough right there to where I think we could get it. There's that big screwdriver back there. You just yeah, you can do it from the underneath. I don't care about Push that. the rubber in. 
Where that actually doesn't look actually, bad. Actually, try to lift your side up a little bit. I don't want mine to pop out though. Nah, you're just fighting the rubber. If he gets something, you can push the rubber in. Yeah. You'll be good to go. Fighting that little rubber grommet right there. Going in that <laughs> hole right there. There you go. There you go. Yeah, boys! She's in. The angles don't look horrible over here, yeah, actually. Yeah, just getting it to work. Oh. There we go. Let's see hold on to that for me. I got it. I got it with my knee. Dang, boys. We're back in action. All right. Radiator going in. Let's go. Your way. Your way. Pick up your side. There you go. Right there, boys. We're in. I still say, especially if you're running with no hood, the clamp should be permanent. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think it's a good look. That's good right there. So I'll just keep it from wobbling around. All right, well, that one looks like it's gonna made up well. Mm -hmm. Why is it so tall? Yeah, because remember, the cabs to the frame, the cabs are a lot taller on the, the actual Duramaxes. Yeah. So when you mount this all up, it's since the cab's shorter. Your cow hood's gonna need to start right here. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily they do. I got some paint roller trays we can make a cow hood out of. Push, Daddy, push! Don't try this at home with new power coat. It's like that Monsters Inc. Look <laughs> at that kid's focus. The tongue's gotta be out to really focus. My dad taught me that one. <laughs> oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. It was supposed to go underneath inside here, and I don't think that's gonna happen. Dipsticks are overrated, Dedek. I learned a long time ago. You don't need to know how much oil your truck has. You just run it. I'll just bend her up. If it loafs every morning you start it, you should probably check on that. <laughs> Looks great, buddy. Looks great. That is a lot of Chick-fil-A under this hood. Yep. Yeah, I don't think there's be enough room for that air box. Yeah, there's. Trust me, I'd spent like a whole like two days mocking it up and making sure it would. The pipe's not angled right. The, in, the inlet pipe's got to go up a little more, and that allows that to dip down some. All right, Dedek, fire it up. I ain't got a brake pedal. Take it for a spin. Right. I ain't got a clutch. <laughs> I ain't got a gas! <laughs> I ain't got a knee brake! This reminds me of when I was a kid and I, and I got a dirt bike, like my first ever dirt bike, and you could literally walk in the garage at any point of the night and you would see me standing on there like, on the stand, rocking back and forth like I'm going over some big jump. Yeah, that's Dedek right now. Oh, alright, we got a shifter. Oh, Jesus. And make sure it's a neutral. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How was the, uh, the windshield visibility? Zero. <laughs> no, I left you a little spot right there in between the NGK and the P. Oh, Jesus. You can see. Do something with that big guy? How about it? Yeah, I don't want one. All right, y'all. Well, a lot of progress was made today. But with that, we're going to wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button now that you don't miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitbear.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be able to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Pull the outro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.